Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial about how you might create a currency converter using um, the web API blocks. So I'm in Thunkable and I'm going to open up a new project. I'm going to be doing Hong Kong dollars to euros and once I sign in I'll create a new project. I'll hot call it HKD converter. And on this first screen, I'm going to drop in some rows. I think I'll drop in three rows. I'll put a label at the top. In this first row here, I want to have another label. So this first label I put in at the top, that's going to be um, currency converter. And I'm going to call it a uh, title label. Um, this label right here is going to display um, how many Hong Kong dollars are equal to a euro. So I'll call it um, in the label, I'll write HKD, and the label name will be HKD label. Oops. I want to put another label next to that. I want it on the other side, so I'm going to move this one over. Uh, this label is going to say euros. Euro label. Um, actually, let me just finish this up. This label, this Euro label right here. I think I'm going to say equals one Euro. So here will be the Hong Kong dollars, and I'll say equals to one Euro. Um, in this row right here, I want to have a text input next to a label. So I'm going to drop in a label, and I'm going to drop in a text input. And the text input is going to say, um, enter Hong Kong dollars. And then the label will tell you um, how many euros that's equal to. I think I'm going to drop a column in between these two to put in a little bit of space. And my width, I'm going to pick absolute size, and I'm going to say 15. So there's a little bit of space in between the um, where you enter the Hong Kong dollars and the label output for the euro. So for this one right here, I'm going to call this um, HKD text input. And this one right here is going to be, it's going to say euros. And it'll be called euro label. Oh, but we already have a euro label. So this will be um, euro output. Euro output label. OK, that'll be a little bit more clear for me. And then in this bottom row down here, I'm just going to drop in a button. Cool. Um, so I think the design of my screen is all set up. One thing that we have to do is we have to be getting information um, from another website. The website that I'm going to use is um, Foreign Exchange Rates and Currency um, Fixer. And one thing that I forgot is I want to drop in a web API block into this one because I'm going to need those blocks for coding to call up this website and to get information from it. So inside here I'm going to go to my dashboard and this is my web API key so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to Thunkable. I'm going to go into blocks 
and I'm going to put this into a variable. I'm going to call the variable um, API key. And I'm just going to paste that API key in um, from the Fixer website. That's F-I-X-E-R dot I-O. Um, I had to log in. I got a free account. And that was gave me um, access to get my API key. Uh, I'm going to create a, another variable. That variable is going to be called hkd value and that's where I'll store the information that comes back from the fixer website two variables um, to start out with then I'm going to pull out a block from screen one when screen one opens and I'm gonna go into the web API blocks I'm going to um, set the URL for the web API block so we can call to the um, fixer website and that I'm going to find in the documentation. So in documentation it tells you about how to call it up and this is the this is what we want right here. Um, and I'm going to include the question mark ask, access key equals. And then after this, I have to put in my own API key, which will be easy because we already made it into a variable. So let me move in a text block. I'm going to delete these spaces here. You don't want any spaces in here. Great. I'm going to take that out real quick. What I have to do is I have to join it together um, with the API key variable that we made. So this is going to go here, and then the API key will come after that. And this block will join them together. So this is what we're setting the URL to. Um, let me show you really quickly um, what happens when we call that URL. So when we call that URL, this is all the information that we're going to get back. So we're going to have to go through here, and we're going to have to find um, the rates, and then we're going to have to go through all the rates, and we're going to have to find Hong Kong dollars and get just that number back into our app uh, so we can do the currency conversion. So I just wanted to show you what all that information looks like. So next we're going to go back into the web API blocks and we're going to use this get block, um, web API call get, because we're trying to get information from them. And we're going to go into our variables and we're going to um, use this set block. We want to set the value of Hong Kong dollars. And next, in order to sift through all this information um, that we get back from the website, we're going to use these object blocks. And at the end of this, we're going to put in response. So this first one right here, we want HKD. And the second one, we want rates, because we want to search through all the rates to find Hong Kong dollars. And then we'll set that to our variable. And then we want to set our Hong Kong dollar label to our variable, our um, Hong Kong dollar value. So let's just give it a quick test to see how that works. All right, I'm going to test to see how that's working. I'm going to click on Live Test. And I'm going to open it up, um, Thunkable, on my phone as well. And when I check it on my phone, um, let's see. Uh, it's really hard to see, but it does have the, um, the current 
price of Hong Kong dollars compared to euros, it's 8.96 Hong Kong dollars equals one euro. Um, yeah, so that's what it says. So I know this part of the app is working. So as I go through, I like to stop and check it along the way just to make sure everything's working. Um, the last piece of coding we have to do is for the button. Um, and when button one is clicked, we want to change the euro output label. So here's the euro output label. We want to set the text to. I'm going to use that join block from inside text. And I'm going to write euro down here in the second one. So we know um, what, um, what currency this value relates to. Then I'm going to join that with a math block, um, the division block. And I'm going to get the Hong Kong dollar text input, the text from there. And I'm going to divide that by our variable, which is the Hong Kong dollar variable. And then I'm going to live test that to make sure it's working. And I'm able to log in. I'm able to type in a certain number of Hong Kong dollars, and it gives me how many euros that will be equal to. So um, the app works, and it's working by calling up another website to get accurate information. Um, so yeah, this is a quick tutorial about how to use that those API blocks. I hope you enjoyed it.